Security, as you'd expect, is tight here. It's taken me months to gain access. This is the most dangerous and oldest part of Sellafield. The top priority is to make these ponds exposed to the elements and filled with nuclear waste safe. So people might not think it's a big task you can't actually see the problem here, can you? It's a massive task because the product we're still dealing with is active and it's got to be handled with the respect and the care it deserves. It's the first time a British TV crew has been granted access to this high hazard area. So what's down there now in this water? Uh, under the water we've got lots of materials from the early nuclear program. What we're doing is making the facility safe by removing that fuel in a safe manner. There's only limited historic plans to help Tony and his team clear these potentially lethal ponds. A legacy of the speed with which Windscale was constructed. So it's left to Tony to untangle this dangerous part of our industrial history. Decommissioning uh, wasn't considered at the time, so that gives us massive challenges on how to do it safely in the environment we've got in an aging facility. This was the first in the country and we've done it in a very tight time scale. Within you know, a couple of years we had uh, the PAL reactors built, commissioned and operational. You and couldn't do that today, could you? We couldn't do that today, no. Um, the rigour that we'd have to go through to uh, develop the safety cases alone for plants like this would take a lot longer than that. It must be strange though because the decommissioning of this site is not going to actually be finished in your or my lifetime. The site itself, uh, you know, we're probably talking you know, in, into a hundred years or so, but all I can do uh, within my lifetime is make sure we do this particular area safety. The scale of the project is huge and so is the cost. The government has set aside 67.5 billion pounds to clean up Sellafield. That's more than Tunisia's economy produces in a year. In 2008, the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority, the NDA, appointed three companies to tackle the hazardous cleanup: Arriva, Amec, and URS. They make up Nuclear Management Partners (NMP) and their subsidiary Sellafield Limited. Their contract is reviewed every five years. So how's it going? Of the 14 projects here, 12 haven't gone to plan. Deadlines have been missed, meaning buildings remain hazardous for longer. And five have gone over budget, won by a staggering £600 million. Now, in some cases, the deadline has had to be put back by some seven years. And it's problems like this that has brought stinging criticism and an unwelcome spotlight on the work that goes on here. When an influential group of MPs visited back in 2012, they blamed poor management for totally unacceptable delays and described the position as dire. I accept dealing with nuclear waste is a pretty unique problem and we want to make sure that in this particular very difficult, hugely important project that actually the people involved are doing their best and using taxpayers' money to best value. So how does Nuclear Management Partners answer that? We're on track to meet the minimum performance standards. We're on track to deliver close to a billion pounds worth of uh, savings. We've achieved the best safety record that Sellafield's seen as records have started. Uh, it's my belief that we are on track and we, earn the right, we have earned the right for the next five years. But one of them was something like 600 odd million pounds over. I mean, that isn't just, I mean, that can't be put down to simply we didn't know what we were dealing with. I mean, you must have factored in the complicated nature of what you're doing and the unknowns there. The increase in, in cost was really where we took a very early estimate where we understood the, the nature of the project. We built in large contingency, a bit like they did in the Olympics. It doesn't feel like a good story and we take the issue very, very seriously. But some of this is also about maturing and understanding the issues because as you've seen at site, there's a lot of unknowns that we have to deal with. But it's the taxpayer, me, people watching, going to have to pay that. Yes, and as a taxpayer, I'm a taxpayer as well, we've got to do things as efficiently, as effectively as possible at Sellafield. 